Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mitch, Orb Agent Canadian here, along with... Jerome. Zach here. And I'm Matt. And today, we're going to do a quick breakdown of the Black Ops 2 trailer that was just revealed. But before we do that, we're going to actually play the trailer here for you. So if you want to check it out, just stick around and we'll be back after to give you our thoughts. Aside from the fact that I'm still alive, none of this surprises me. Technology gets stronger, but we got weaker. We built computers. Robots. Oh, unmanned armies. And no one ever asks. What happens when the enemy steals the keys? And the things they built to keep us safe are turned against us. And that's when they figured it out. They'll always need men like us. For those who are willing to do what others cannot. Okay, first off, mechs are amazing. Mechs are amazing. That's all you gotta say? Mechs? I, it's just that, it's just, I like the whole, like, super futuristic. As oh, you, saw, you said if you Max, know, I thought you said Max. Max? No, oh, fuck Max, Jerome. <laughs> fuck Max. No, oh, but no, like, it, it takes best. the year, it takes the year, takes place in the year 2025. So, you know, if you, technology is gonna be amazing. So I can't wait for the other stuff that they're gonna have in the game. That's yeah, there was robotic yeah. elephants and uh, robotic, robotic like, elephants. kangaroos. Like the ones on two legs, those are like robotic kangaroos to me. Well, and then and the Mitch, you can't forget four. pelicans. Well, the Zing. Thing is, they look like they look like the cow things from Metal Gear Solid. Well, the thing I like though is that not all technology that's like futuristic is really gonna be usable. Like you saw that one scene where they were riding on horseback. I mean, that's obviously got to tell you something. That technology is so advanced that even something as simple as a car, maybe, has been taken over by there, whatever. There were cars. Robot. What? There were cars. Yeah, there was I do like the okay, contrast but, in the technologies. But, it's interesting. Yeah, like I'm saying though, like there was an obvious reason they were riding horses, Zach. They weren't just it's riding just, horses. It's just also, it's just the way the gameplay I think in, in multiplayer is going to be really cool with all the futuristic stuff. Oh yeah, they, you're going to be riding horses can, for sure. They can, no yeah, yeah, totally horseback, just just meleeing people to death. And uh, <laughs> did you guys notice the hit marker when uh, the the plane was shooting? Yeah, it looked like Battlefield. Yeah, yeah. That's, Not only uh, that, it seems like they've ripped off a lot of games. That's the exact replica of a parrot drone from uh, Homefront. It's also, Maybe it's a real life thing. It's also is, the exact replica of a pelican from Halo. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but if I you agree. think about it, I mean, when you try and do a futuristic game, there's not too much you can do without kind of screwing over your audience Are you base. retarded, like they... Mitch? Are you re no. literally futuristic game opens up every single pop possibility Matt, to do anything years. you want? Yeah, but they're 13 years in the future, and... Yeah, maybe, this, so maybe much, the singularity hit change, early, we don't know. Matt, <laughs> <laughs> If they branch too far out from their franchise, they'll they'll take a hit. So they're they're trying to make it unique, the make it futuristic. Monkey. Yeah, it's it's about to go from it was about to go from uh, Call of Duty to Grawl. So yeah, it was gonna be pretty bad. Go, go that, three Con Advanced Warfighter for those who don't know. Yeah, no, right, yeah. I've never played well, that uh, game. Anyway, just something to clear up in the background. The guy who was talking in the background, like at the very beginning, that was Woods from the first Black Ops. But who is this new main character? Like, does he have a significance? Like, I think he might be Woods' son, perhaps, but I'm not quite sure about. I've that. seen a lot of no, comments no, 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 no. referencing um, Team. What's his name? No, it's a Team something. Team Jacob. 
No, 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 not Team Jake. Edwards, faggot. I'm no, no, no. They, team they're Jason comparing Russell. Team, no, ah. they're, they're comparing Team Ghost to Team something else. I'll actually look this up. You guys keep talking. No, I refuse. Wow, I really refuse cool to you, keep Mitch. talking. Fuck that. Yeah, we're not gonna talk, Mitch. You talk. But uh, I want to know. I want to know. Since it's Treyarch, they did do vehicles with uh, World at War. I wonder what the max if you'll be able to drive them like vehicles now. I wonder yeah, if it's gonna... Team Hayashi, Team Ghost, and Team Hayashi. I wonder if they're going to go back to the world at war where you can drive vehicles, but this is going to be more futuristic. I was about well, to say, with all I these think... impl implications, I don't, that wasn't a word. All these, uh, what's the word I'm looking Additions? for? Additions? No. Implications. It's not, no, it wasn't implications. It's, um, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. With all these additions, there's another word for it, but I'm just going to use addition of uh, vehicles. The maps are going to have to be damn big. Mm -hmm. not, like, uh, not like Modern Warfare 3 where it was all crappy and small. Yeah. yeah, give well, me some also, vertical height. Thing, uh, well, that's too. the thing I wanted to ask you guys is not just multiplayer, but campaign. Something a little different. Now, everyone thinks that we're fighting the robots, but as the guy clearly said in the uh, the trailer, he was like, you know, when someone else takes the key or whatever. Yeah, good so old there's Afghans. obviously. Yeah. No, I was really worried. Afghans, for a second, I thought they were going to go all iRobot on oh, us. Oh. Hold your hold your penis for a second. I'm holding. Now what I'm trying to say Jack. is that maybe maybe you're also going to be fighting other humans like from another country or whatever. Like I don't think it's just going to be focused because obviously you know people were the ones that took over these robots. So I don't think you're just going to be fighting robots. I think I'm I don't think you're going to be fighting like, robots at all. Of course you okay, are. Zach, are you kidding? <laughs> Zach, Zach, shut the fuck up. You, you, there's no way you watch that entire trailer <laughs> and just make that statement. I think you're going to be slaughtering horses. That's your whole job. That's it. That's it. <laughs> We're actually the ones piloting all the uh, the robots. You're actually you're actually a horse and you're running around biting people the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny because Good horses night, are people. Reloading just starts shitting everywhere. Oh my god. <laughs> What? Good night, everybody. No, no. <laughs> That's it. That's the worst way to end this. <laughs> no. One thing I was really hoping to see, which they didn't even, like, I figured Treyarch, after they did their credit roll, would have, like, a quick five-second glimpse of zombies, but they had nothing on it. Yeah, because there's not going to be zombies, duh. Like, yeah, okay. Well, of okay. course not. Why would there be zombies Treyarch, in Treyarch? Treyarch you know? not adding zombies is probably the worst move that they'll ever do. Well, I want to know. <laughs> They're trolling the us. Who do you guys think the actual enemy, like, the country that took over it is? I think being, you know, I think it's Russia, just because of the fact that Call of Duty loves abusing it's Russia for every single Russia. game. Well, China maybe, too, because China, um, uh, wanted a big part of it. Or it's, maybe it'll uh, be the filthy politician. No, it's gonna be a country called Akhluchistan, because it rised up in, tw <laughs> in 2015, it became a nation, and then, uh, ten years later, it's it took over the world. Here's one for you. Very nice. <laughs> Wait, wait, hold your dick, hold your dick. How pissed would you be if they combined the two games so that the storyline of Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 all fit into this because it was in the future? So basically, uh -oh. like, this would be like one of Makarov's minions or something, like a combination game of sorts. Makarov I never played like the campaign. Makarov! <laughs> I never Get played the night. campaign. <laughs> Makarov, Mikrov. No, but just, just think about that for a second, though. You know? Micro. I, 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 I couldn't care less because I never played the campaign. <laughs> now, one thing that I did notice, though, is that the cover of the game is going to feature the same kind of, uh, No, he's I guess, bald. Character. He's bald. Yeah, no, it's going to feature the same style of character where he's bald this time. Not that that really matters. But he's holding dual pistols, which no, I'm assuming... No, Now, he's holding You're two, Matt. You're bad. It's only one. Okay, take a look again, dumbass. Um, know, there's two pistols. The they look kind of like Desert Eagles, so... I'm hoping that those are gonna be in zombies because the there last was game... there was a new gun that they showed like when he was like reloading like loading it. Oh yeah, and yeah it looked like all thing futuristic as fuck. What if it's no. laser pistol? What if it's a laser pistol? It's like boom, 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 boom. it was the oh, awesome. Exactly. The thing is, it's futuristic, but not that futuristic. I think they're still gonna be using projectiles. Your typical projectiles. They got walking it's... mechs. Zach. Yeah, but that's your answer shoot. to that's everything. True. Zach, I have a transformer toy behind me. Is that a walking mech? I get yep. walks. Yeah, it, it is. It's got lasers. Are you fucking kidding me? It can move. Are we still? Oh, okay. One last thing I want to say that is, uh, what commitment. do you guys think of the fact that it seems like there were a lot of scenes where police were fighting, not just the army? Do you think like that the society in that like in that futuristic era has like just completely like 
gotten rid of the military almost in terms of like military personnel and it's just really police force and uh i guess special operatives i think, I think cause it was a lot inner city and i think because like i said it took place in los angeles if you saw or some of it took place in los angeles like they probably have a giant police squad there so they're just there helping it's kind of like uh, your like ai of the game yeah but i mean like on attack of any american city you know there'd be troops there in a matter of like 20 minutes, no, I, I think mean. the fact that, uh, and if you look in the tags of the video, it says this as well, uh, lose the keys. I think the fact that the keys were stolen, it was so unsuspected, the attack, that they didn't have time to respond with a military, like, I guess, response and action. So it's just the police force has to hold out a little bit of the, uh, the, uh, the oncoming assault by the robots. Robot unicorns. 2013. Or 2025. And by the way, the whites are the minority because it says uh, the world is black. Oh, Whoa. true. The future is black, Zach. And one last thing, I don't... KFC's everywhere! No! No, I don't no Zach. Can really... <laughs> I don't think anyone here can really uh, say anything about it yet. It just keep these dates in mind or go back to it when a future trailer is up. But at the very, very end of the trailer, if you take a look when it shows like all the random uh, numbers and shit in the background, like Call of Duty loves to do because it's so fucking annoying in their trailers. If you look, it gives three separate dates. One in October, I think it was October 6th, uh, 2022. Another one. Was, <laughs> I, think... I will definitely go back and check it out in 2022. <laughs> Same you know graphics like engine and everything. I'm I wouldn't really be surprised. Easy. Call of Duty 8. All right, the point is, that would be Call of Duty 30, dude. Games. Call of Duty 8 was, I think, you're right. Black Ops. I think that was Call of Duty 8. I'm not kidding. It was. This is this is Call of Duty 10. We're talking no, no. About. We're no, 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 no. Call of Duty 8 was Modern Warfare 3. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Hot damn. It was Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 or 6. Giggity. So we're going to have COD... I bet you they don't call the next ones a series name. They call it COD 10. <laughs> oh, yeah. COD X. COD X. COD X. We're That's... calling it now, guys. We're calling it a year in advance. COD X. You'll be seeing a trailer for next year. COD X. That's Thanks a lot for watching it. this breakdown. Hope you enjoyed. I've been Mitch along with... Three unimportant Third people. Bye. Yeah, three people who to say goodbye and introduce themselves. My name is Zach! <laughs>